Have you ever wondered how people write code that writes code? Today, I'll share some JavaScript tools and strategies that I've learned recently. My name is Jen Weber, and I'm an engineer at Cardstack. Our goal is to make Web 3.0 usable for everyone, so if someone is using the Card SDK, they won't have to think about or write this kind of code. But if you're a developer who wants to level up your own skills in general, or you want to be able to help contribute to Cardstack in the future, this video is for you. You might have heard the term AST transform before. AST stands for Abstract Syntax Tree. AST transform is a strategy for finding a section of code in a file and changing it. If you're familiar with front-end web development, it's a little bit like how you could use a query selector to find something in the DOM and change it. An example use case for AST transforms is something like a code mod where someone wants to write a script that quickly updates some JavaScript syntax that's used across many files. If you paste some JavaScript code into a tool like astexplorer.net, you'll get an interactive view of how each section of the code is named. You can use this tool to figure out how to refer to the part of code you want to change. Then you can use a library like Recast to do the work. Within the Cardstack code base behind the scenes, we use an AST transform to add the card SDK into some generated files before the app builds. In this example, we're parsing a file generated by the Ember CLI and adding a few lines of our own code in it. The next tool to know about is FS Extra. FS stands for file system. Plain old FS is a module that's part of Node's built-in features, and it's used for creating things like directories, writing data to new files, or reading through very large files line by line. However, there are some really common tasks that it doesn't handle elegantly, and so developers end up writing a bunch of utility functions of their own. This is why FS Extra exists. FS Extra is a third-party open source package. It's a convenience wrapper that lets you write a single line of code to do things like see if a directory exists, and if it doesn't, create it. For example, here we're making sure that there's a config directory and then creating a file called optionalfeatures.json. FS Extra is a huge help for keeping your code that writes code readable. The next tool is the temp directory, a special place where files get deleted automatically as part of routine operating system cleanup. Let's say I'm working on a tool that generates some new files. What if the script errors out? I don't want to leave developers' computers littered with half-finished things that they, where they take up storage space and they have to go back and remove those things by hand. Solving this problem is where the temp directory really shines. The temp directory is the perfect place to keep things while they're building and then copy them into a final destination if the process succeeds. For example, in this code, first we import join from node and tempter from the operating system module, OS. Next, we reference the location of the temporary directory using the tempter function. We make a directory inside of temp that has a unique semi-random name and create files there. On success, we have some code that copies the files into the final, more permanent location outside of temp. I'd also like to point out here that we use join whenever we're creating file paths. If we just use regular string concatenation, it might not work on Windows, and that's not good. Join makes sure that the resulting paths work across operating systems. Writing code that writes code can be intimidating if you just go looking for code examples. The logic can get complex quickly, making it hard to actually figure out the big picture if you're not already familiar with the code base. So if you want to learn more about these strategies, my suggestion is to add the term tutorial or beginner to your search terms. Good luck.